As I wrote in a column in Public Relations Week a couple of months ago, employee communication is and always has been kind of the Rodney Danger field in the field of public relations. For most um, executives, employee communication ranks third behind shareholder communication and customer communication. Our own journals in the field have relatively few studies that probe employee communication. PRSA's daily issues and trends, uh, which is something that I read religiously, is top heavy with social media developments and with the latest crises. We're blessed with many of those. Even my own students have little interest in employee communication. And I know because I survey them each fall in a management class. They tell me they want jobs in digital media, media relations, special events, not employee communication. When I ask them why, the general answer is, well, we know it's important, but it's just not very sexy. You know, it's not very sexy. On the other hand, employee communication is at the center of crucial workplace issues today. Quality programs, retention of top talent, employee engagement, employee branding, and change management, for example. Now, I have to confess, when I first encountered the term some long years ago in something I was reading, the term change management, I misunderstood it. I misunderstood it so that my sort of spontaneous reaction was, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! We're going to change management. <laughs> <laughs> my euphoria was short-lived. So, this afternoon, what I want to do is to make a case for the power importance of employee communication. And I'll begin with this observation. The Chinese proverb claims that the beginning of wisdom is to call things by their right name. The beginning of wisdom is to call things